Good morning, everyone, and uh, I'm Lauren. And my name's Asanta. And we are your community health educators with the University of Maryland Medical Center in the Department of Community Health Improvement. And so I'm not sure if you noticed, but we are in a different location today. Yes. We are down <laughs> at Mondaman Mall for our annual Fall Back to Good Health health fair and also you may notice this little furry thing right here it's our mic don't worry it's just <laughs> Bill on the other end and we want to give a special thank you to Bill and Hannah our camera our camera gal she's always here with us and supporting us so yes. today we're going to talk about a couple of things that we've got going on down here to try and get you to come because we're having a really good time and there's a lot of stuff for you to learn and be educated and yeah so at the end of this, definitely please come on down to Mondaman Mall. We are basically taking over yes. for the day from 10 to 3. And you can come and get free health screenings, different services, information. Everything here is free today, okay? Yeah. Everything. You don't even have to worry about it. 95.9 .9 is broadcasting live, yes, so you can come are. and dance with us at noon. We'll be yes. live dancing and everything. But first, we're going to take you around to a couple of our vendors just to talk about what's going on here today, especially for different awareness topics that we have. Absolutely. Right? So let's go and talk to diabetes about here what they have go. going on. So, as you see, there's a lot of people here already. And so we want to make sure that we're getting you here as well because it's a fun time. So I think Asanta. Yep. So we have a couple of people already taking advantage of the, of, of the yeah. services going on today. So you can definitely see. They have a Jeopardy reel, but let's talk to Angela. She works with the Diabetes Center. And <laughs> Hi, how, how are you guys are you? doing? How are you? Talking to our Facebook community today about a little bit that's going on here at the um, Mondawmin Mall. So you guys, can you tell us what's going on here today? So we're from the University of Maryland Center for Diabetes and Endocrinology, and we are giving information about pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, how do you prevent diabetes, and all our diabetes programs here. Wonderful. So when they come out today, they can get pre-screen testing done, and if they are positive for, during their pre-screening test, they can get further follow-up information from you guys. Yeah. And we can actually enroll you in our diabetes prevention program. Um, we also have information about our center. So if you have type 2 diabetes and you don't have a provider, you can come and see us. Come and see an educator, a nutritionist. And it's my wonderful team from the Diabetes Center. So um, come down, get more information, play a game, get some giveaways, have Diabetes Jeopardy, um, and have some fun with us today. Wonderful. Awesome. And it's free, right? It Great. Great. Wonderful. Thank you guys. Absolutely. Thanks, C. Clear. And speaking of teams, let's go talk to ours from our community health improvement team. Well, we won't be talking with them because they tend to be pretty busy, but right now we have Tiffany, who she's going to be talking to you about rethinking your drink and all of those sugary drinks that we put into our bodies and also some of the food and the salt that we intake on the regular that we may not even know is in our system or in the food and uh, drinks that we're putting in. So we've got Tiffany here. And if you follow me around, we're going to keep going a little bit further. And we've got Monika and Donna, and they are here talking about all of the health and wellness programs that we have here at the university, at our main campus, our university campus, and the Midtown campus. And so what you'll see is that we've got a lot of programs and a lot of events that you can take part in, as well as our Community Health Education Center, which is now open. So make sure you check that out where you'll reach Monika if you get to the check. And then we have Griselda who's here, one of our favorite tables of course, which is smoking cessation. And so we have information here of course, always about helping you quit smoking and how you can do it. And so, you know, we've got our team here as well, but I, just want I think to moving on, yes. we thank you ladies so much. <laughs> We're gonna go over here to Kathy, who is also with the Midtown Hello. Campus. Hello. Hi, Paula. Hi. Hi ladies, how are you doing? Good. So we've got Kathy here, and she's with our Midtown campus, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, mammography and breast health because, you know, as we know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So Kathy, could you just tell us a little bit about what you have here? Sure. Hi. Um, I work at University of Maryland Midtown campus in the mammography department. Uh, we um, have our images read at the Breast Center at University. Um, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's really important to do yourself breast exams and have your mammograms done yearly um, from 35 on, 40, specifically 40 on, on. And um, it's never too late to start. If you haven't had one, come on in and see us. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kathy. It's been a wonderful day here. It's going to be a great day. Yeah. We've got some more stuff to talk to you about. And I believe Asunta will take us over to Dr. Michael Lilly. So yes, we're going to talk to Dr. Lilly today about vascular screening. And it's something that a lot of people don't come out and get checked for, don't really know about, but it's very important. And Dr. Lilly is going to tell us about it. It's so wonderful to be able to be part of this health screening today and talk about vascular disease. People don't often recognize the problems of peripheral artery disease, of blockages in the arteries of legs and, and the neck arteries uh, that can be associated with stroke or loss of the ability to be mobile and get around, stay independent, keep your job. Uh, these are important things for everybody at all ages, particularly older folks. We're doing screening here where we actually look at the arteries. We do it, we're not on the first floor here, we're upstairs. On the all right. second floor, okay. Free screening, check out the arteries of the neck and the legs all day today. Learn if you have the problem, because if you have this kind of problem, there's many things that can be done. I'm not talking about operations, I'm talking about things patients can do for themselves, right. and they can work with their doctors in partnership to prevent some of these terrible complications. Right. And when you say peripheral artery disease, you mean blood, as in blood clots and different things like well, that? Well, blood clots is a little different. Okay. I'm talking about hardening of the arteries, okay. well, where the right arteries now. are blocked up. Blood clots usually is a problem of veins. Okay. We, we do screenings for that, too. Oh, good. Uh, well, but, that's good, too. They, but everyone not today. Does that too, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but we're checking for the hardening and, and things like that, okay? That's correct. All right, and your services are free here today, right? Free. Wonderful. We're going to keep using that word all day. It's free. It's free. free, free and free. you get follow-up care after today at the Midtown Medical Center as well, right? That's correct. Wonderful, okay? So thank you so thank much you for so meeting much, with Dr. Dr. Lilly. No problem. Thank you. So wonderful Please to come see out and see Dr. Lilly upstairs on the second floor of Mondalman Mall today. All right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so let's go and talk to our Community Health Improvement Director, Ann Williams. She's here and she's going to basically wrap everything up for us today and tell us what's going on. First, we're going to talk about health literacy because it's also Health Literacy Month along with breast cancer awareness, uh, child safety and different things like that. So Ann, we hear about health literacy a lot, especially in the hospital setting, but I don't think the people in the community really know much about it. But it's very important to make sure that they have the tools that they need before they go into a doctor so that they can have the best patient experience possible, right? Absolutely. Health literacy is just a fancy word for really saying that you want to learn about your health. Okay. And you want to learn how to take care of yourself so you can stay healthy and stay out of the hospital. Okay, and we can come down here today and get services about that. and. Absolutely. We have lots of um, different types of screenings today. We have cholesterol screenings, blood pressure screenings. Um, you already heard about the vascular screenings, HIV, Hep C, um, lots of different types of screenings. And we have lots of education so people can learn how to take care of themselves. Wonderful, wonderful. And you have some information to show with us yes, today? We have everything from when to visit urgent care and when to visit the ER is one thing. Also, in preparation for the holidays, we have the naughty and nice list of holiday foods. As an example, and then also we're doing a mental health conference coming up in just uh, a month, yeah. which is really important that um, our community can come out and take a look at that as well. Thank you so much, Ann, and we'd like to come out. Today. All right.